वेलकम टू वी एल एस आई लेक्चर सीरीज आई प्रोफेसर रितेश दोलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू सीमोस इन्वर्टर वोल्टेज ट्रांसफर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स इन दिस वीडियो इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू वर्किंग ऑफ सीमोस इन्वर्टर बट दैट वॉज आइडियल वर्किंग ऑफ सीमोस इन्वर्टर इन दिस सेशन वी विल सी प्रैक्टिकल वर्किंग ऑफ सीमोस इन्वर्टर अलॉन्ग विथ इट्स वोल्टेज ट्रांसफर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स In my previous video, I have already explained you the basic circuit which is there with CMOS inverter. So let us have that circuit again. So here we have supply voltage that is VDD, and that we connect with PMOS over here. So see PMOS that I am plotting by having bubble over here. So this is my PMOS, and that I'll have to connect with NMOS. So here you see this is NMOS. and in nmos we don't have bubble over here and gate of both that we need to connect together and this is where we give input and over here we have output and this terminal that we ground over here now here we need to understand see current will flow from vdd to ground right and if you observe pmos then in pmos current flows from source to drain right so source terminal that should be over here and drain terminal for pmos that should be over here and in nmos current flows from drain to source so drain terminal that should be over here and source terminal that should be over here and this is what gate for pmos and this is what gate for nmos now here there are few important points that we need to note down see when we talk about voltage transfer characteristics then in that we are dealing with to understand different regions of operation of nmos and pmos where very important voltage is that we need to note down so see for nmos in between gate and source vgs voltage that will be vgs n and in between drain and source vds and voltage that we need to identify and for pmos in between gate and source vgsp voltage that we need to identify and in between source and drain we need to identify vdsp voltage now here there are few points that we need to understand see vtn that is threshold voltage of nmos and that will be positive and when we talk about vtp then that is what threshold voltage of pmos and that will be negative now for nmos if i say what is value of vgsn then vgsn that will be vg minus vs of nmos now you see vg that is input and vs that is ground so we can say vg minus vs of nmos that is v in now what is vdsn for nmos so vdsn that is vd minus vs of nmos now you see vd is out v out and vs is zero so vdsn that is v out minus 0 means v out now for pmos vgsp that is vg minus vs of pmos so you see vg that is v in and vs that is vdd so we can say vgsp is v in minus vdd now vdsp of pmos that is vd minus vs of pmos so see vd that is v out and vs that is vdd so vdsp is v out minus vdd so that is how different biasing voltages are there now why i have calculated this biasing voltages the reason is in voltage transfer characteristics v in and v out that will be the characteristics right so in that this biasing voltages will explains you 
in which region NMOS and PMOS is functioning. And I have already explained you how NMOS and PMOS functions, right? So let me explain that again so that when I explain you characteristics at that time, it will be very clear to all of you. So when we talk about NMOS, then in NMOS, as if VGSN, if it is less than VTN, then we can say NMOS will stay in cutoff region, right? And as if VGSN is greater than VTN, then this NMOS that may be there in linear or saturation region. And to identify linear or saturation region, all we need to do is we need to check drive-in voltage. So drive-in voltage is how much? VGSN minus VTN and as if it is greater than VDSN, then we can say this NMOS will stay in linear region and as, as if VGSN minus VTN, if it is lower than VDSN, then this NMOS that will stay in saturation region, right? Now, as if we try to understand how PMOS functions, then for PMOS, we will have to compare VG, SP, and if it is greater than VTP, then we can say this PMOS that will stay in cutoff region. And now, if we have VGSP that is lower than VTP, right, in that case, there are two possibilities of PMOS, linear or saturation. And to identify linear or saturation, we need to see drive-in voltage and drive-in voltage is VGSP minus VTP. And as if VGSP minus VTP, if it is greater than VDSP, then we can say here our PMOS that will stay in saturation region and if VGSP minus VTP, if it is lower than VDSP, then we can say this PMOS will stay in linear region. See, this is what I have already explained you in my previous videos regarding NMOS and PMOS, right? Now, we are a little bit to understand how voltage transfer characteristic is there. So, voltage transfer characteristic, that is a characteristic in between output voltage with respect to input voltage. So, here on x-axis, we have input voltage and on y-axis, we have output voltage. Now, before I plot characteristics, we should note down some important voltages which will be helpful to you to understand how characteristic is there. So here we have zero voltage and we will increase input voltage gradually. So here we will be having VTN voltage. After that, we will be having VDD by two voltage. After that, we will be having VDD plus VTP voltage. And after that, we will be having VDD voltage. Now you see, VDD plus VTP, where VTP is negative voltage, already I have told you, right? And on y-axis, we'll be having VDD voltage and in center, there will be VDD by 2 voltage. Now, here, let us consider input voltage, which is there in between 0 to VTN. So, as if input is 0 to VTN, output voltage, that should be maximum, it will be VDD, right? From 0 to VTN input, output will be maximum, that will be VDD. Now, let us try to understand in which region MOSFET is functioning. So, you see, for NMOS, VGSN, that is input and that is 0, right? So, 0 is less than VTN, we can say NMOS is there in cutoff region. You see, it is there in 0 and it will be following this condition VGSN is less than VTN up to 0 to VTN, right? So NMOS will stay in cutoff region. So here NMOS that will stay in cutoff region. Now what about PMOS? So if you observe 
PMOS, then we need to see what is VGSP and VDSP voltage. So input is zero. So VGSP is minus VDD and VDSP that is output minus VDD. Output is VDD. So VDD minus VDD, it will be zero, right? So VGSP that is minus VDD and VDSP that is zero. So you see VGSP minus VTP less than VDSP that conditions follows, right? Minus VDD minus VTP less than zero. So it means PMOS will stay in linear region, right? So here PMOS that will stay in linear region. Now I'll explain you the region in between VDD plus VTP and VDD. So here output voltage will be zero as if input is there in between VDD plus VTP to VDD. And if you see how NMOS and PMOS is functioning, then you see input that is there as VDD, right? So obviously here you see VGSN that is input, right, which is greater than VTN. So now we need to check for these two condition where VGSN minus VTN, you see that will be following linear condition. Why the reason is VDSN that is output, right? And output is zero. And you see this is what VDD plus VTP, right? So it is there in linear region. So NMOS that stays in linear region. And when we talk about PMOS, then here you see PMOS that will stay in cutoff region. Why the reason is VGSP that is V in minus VDD. Now you see V in is how much? V in is VDD, right? So VDD minus VDD, so that stays zero. We can say VGSP is greater than VTP as VTP is negative. So we can say PMOS will stay in cutoff region. So here PMOS will stay in cutoff region. Now let me explain you how shape of curve will be there. After that, I'll explain you about other points. So see shape of curve that will be somewhat like this. And in this, if you see the basic condition, which is there with saturation, right? The reason is as if you identify saturation region, then we can say other will be there with linear region, right? So you see PMOS is there in linear and PMOS is linear up to some point. And here see NMOS is there linear. So NMOS will be there as linear up to some point. So up to what point it will be linear that we need to identify. So for that, see, all I'll be doing is I'll be considering a condition which is there for saturation. So you see if NMOS about which I'm talking, then let me write this equation VGSN minus VTN less than VDSN for saturation and see VGSN that is V in minus VTN and VDSN is V out right so this will be a straight line and that straight line will be having constant which is VTN that will be this point which is C and that will be having a slope which is positive one so see, I'm plotting positive one slope. So that is this line. And what it indicates for saturation, this should be lower than V out, right? This should be lower than V out means what? It means up to this point only, up to this point only, this NMOS that will stay in linear. And if this point goes above, in that case, NMOS will get into saturation right and it will be there in saturation up to this point right now what about PMOS so you see in PMOS if you observe saturation condition then for PMOS saturation condition is VGSP minus VTP that should be greater than VDSP right Now VGSP that is V in minus VDD 
minus VTP should be greater than VDSP is V out minus VDD. Now you see VDD that will get cancelled. So V in minus VTP that should be greater than V out. Right. So if you observe this line V in minus VTP that should be greater than V out. So you see VTP is negative voltage. So that point will be somewhere over here that as C which is constant. Right. And if you plot this line, so that is having slope 1, so that line will be this. Right. So we can say in this direction, PMOS that stays in linear region. Right. And in this direction, you will be finding PMOS that is there in saturation region. Right. So you can see this characteristic in that in between 0 to Tn, NMOS is there in cutoff region and PMOS is there in linear region. And up to this point, PMOS will stay in linear region and from here to here, PMOS will stay in saturation region and in between VDD plus VTP to VDD, PMOS will stay in cutoff region. Right. While NMOS will stay in linear region from VDD to this point and from this point to this point, this NMOS that will stay in cutoff region. See, this is how characteristic is there with CMOS inverter. So in next video, I'll be going to explain you how we can have examples based on this CMOS inverter transfer characteristics. Thank you so much for watching this video.